So vertical and horizontal lines. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over how to first of all graph them and then come up with the domain and range. So when you have a, an equation like x plus 1 equals 0, the first thing you want to do is get it in x equals form. And if I subtract 1 from both sides, I get x is equal to negative 1. On my graph, because it's my x value, all I'm looking at is along my x-axis. And I'm looking where x is equal to negative 1, which is back here. I'm going to put a dot, and then what x equals means is that I'm going to have a vertical line straight up and down through that dot. And that's it. That's the line of my graph, x equals negative 1. Now let's look at the domain and range. So for the domain, the domain remembers all my possible x values. <clears throat> and this happens to be only when x is equal to negative 1. That's it. My range is all my possible y values. And because it covers everything up and down, all my possible y values are y is an element of all real numbers, or everything. right? or negative infinity to infinity. So that's the range domain and how to uh, graph x equals negative 1. Let's look at another example here. So for this example, I'm going to look at x equals 0 or y equals 0. <clears throat> so x equals 0. Where does x equal 0? Well, it equals 0 right here. So I put a dot. Because it's x equals, I know it's going to be straight up and down. So my line actually coincides with the y axis. My domain for that is of course only x equal to 0 because nothing else is included and my range for that is again all real numbers because it goes up and down forever so it covers the whole range of the y-axis. For the next one y equals 0 again I'm looking now I'm looking along my y-axis where does y equal 0? Well again right there. Now because it's y equals and you can see if I had y equal like a positive value up here it would be a straight horizontal line. If I had a y equal a negative value down here, it would again be a straight horizontal line. So what ends up happening with y equals 0, this time it's just the x-axis. So for my domain, it covers all the x values. So it's going to be x is an element of all real numbers. For my range, all my y values, there's only one included. It never goes up, it never goes down. So it's just y is equal to 0, and that's it. For the last example, I'm going to look at a y equals. So y minus 1 equals 0. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add 1 to both sides, so I end up getting y is equal to positive 1. So just like we did with our x equals, we look just on the y-axis, because that's all I'm given. So y is equal to negative one right, or positive 1 right there. And the only way I can draw a line through that point, just a single line, is a straight horizontal line that goes from left to right through that point. And we've seen above with the domain and range for these y equals values. The domain is all my possible x values. So that's going to be x is an element of all real numbers because it covers everything. For the range, the range is only that one value of 1. So that's how to graph just x and y equals. Um, also looking at x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. And how to find the domain and the range.